Hello friends, here is a quick optical illusion you can create to impress your friends and to perform this trick you just need some of those regular household items which are already available with you like a transparent glass jar, a piece of paper, a sketch pen or a marker and some water. Draw two arrows of equal length pointing in the same direction on the piece of paper. Now place the piece of paper vertically with the help of a support. Now place the transparent glass jar between you and those arrows drawn by you and you will observe the image of the arrow seen through the glass is diminished. Now pour some water into the glass jar in such a way that the one arrow can be seen behind the water and the other arrow behind the glass. And now watch the magic unfold. When you pour water into the glass jar, what we had observed, we have observed that the arrow seen through the water gets reversed and magnified. This is because when we pour water into the glass jar, it takes the carb shape of the glass and creating a lens. The lens bends the rays of light so as to give an inverted image of the arrow as we know when light passes from one medium into another, it refracts. However, just because light bands way travels through different materials does not explain why the arrow reverses itself. To understand what's going on here, you may assume the glass of water or bottle of water as if it is a magnifying glass. When light goes through a magnifying glass, the light bends towards the center, where the light all comes together is called the focal point. But beyond the focal point, the image appears to reverse because the light rays that were bent past is other and the light that was on the right side is now on the left and vice versa, which makes the arrow to be reversed. Hence, the reversing arrow trick is an optical illusion caused due to refraction in which a glass of water can make it aim to change its direction. For further exploration, I would leave up some of those points to ponder upon. Point number one, does it make a difference how close the water is to the paper? Point number two, does it make a difference if the jar or the bottle, the square or round in set? What about the size of the bottle jar? Can you draw a diagram of what you think is happening to the light rays? Thank you for watching.